Now this is a, a windbreak planted next to a field in South Dakota. Why? Well, it's windy. It's the Great Plains. It's fairly flat. A bit rolling here. We're sort of in eastern central South Dakota. But these junipers were planted to break the wind. So when seeds are sown in the fields, they don't blow away, in this case, clear to Iowa or Minnesota. In other words, to the east. So that's what a field windbreak is. Lots of these were planted on the Great Plains. Some of them going way back to the 1930s with the Farm Service Administration saying, hey, we can't have all this topsoil blowing away. We've got a major crisis on our hands with the Dust Bowl. But also, people have known about windbreaks for, for lots of years. It didn't just come out when the Dust Bowl came. And the early settlers knew the value of these windbreaks, and also the Native Americans knew how to care for this land. This is all Lakota Sioux country, Lower Brule, and, and others around here. Standing Rock up to the north. So they were the original caretakers of the land. And it's a pleasure to work with my Native colleagues on geotechnologies, mapping, education initiatives, and so on. But the point here is get out there in the field, observe, yes, collect data, but also enjoy, take in all five senses, and observe the landscape around you. What did it look like 100 years ago, 200 years ago, 1,000 years ago? What's it going to look like? in 100 years, what do we want it to look like in 100 years? So how can we care for the land in such a way that's sustainable, that also provides for people's needs, lets them provide for their families? And we do that in part with wise decision making. And in part of that wise decision making, a key part of that is the use of geographic information systems, mapping technologies. So I say, get out in the field, Observe, enjoy, and take care of the land. Thanks.